Uh, I am Tasmin Mushatalam from 36th batch, CAC department. And I am Ariful Islam, 36th batch, CAC department. Uh, anyways, it is our immense pleasure to welcome you all in our presentation. Uh, amongst us, today we have our honorable chairperson, our honorable teachers, and our associate professor and ex chairman. And at last but not the least, and all my university mates, welcome to our presentation. Can I get a clap from you all? Thank you so much. So, our presentation on today is Design and Development and Ultimate Online Car Rental System named Carpool Rentals, presented by us. Me, Tasmin Sotalam Sharpi, and this is my partner, Arifud Islam. And it's supervised by MD Masud Raja, Associate Professor, Department of CSC. Now, my partner will give you the outline of our project. In our outline, we have some objectives to actors, some DFD diagram, architecture of the system, activity diagram, class diagram, use case diagram, uh, sequence diagram, and conclusion. From there, we can control. Let me summarize it for you. This report was commissioned on us to investigate and relate different functional, operational, and technical requirements of a dedicated web based applications for a carpool rental system. And this system will facilitate the function of web-based rental car store and each car have each car have uh, should the rental fee for per day and this rental demands on <coughs> the number of days uh, brand and uh, how fast car runs. And this system will uh, have following facilities then rent Pick up and how uh, return. Rent. This system required to answer customer required about the ability of rentals, mm, fee of the various type of cars and contains the date and feature. Okay, now I'm going to explain what we did in the project. For example, let me explain you in short what we did in front end. In front end, we used HTML and CSS technology. Then we have used Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, and Ajax. In, in the back end, we have used PHP and MySQL, OOP with PHP, and design patterns. These are the objectives of our project. Actually, why we have done the project? I want to say we have done it to reduce some, some de deficiencies which are going on in other software programs. For example, our software can reduce the complexity of the work, improve administration and efficiency for customer requirement, improve management reporting and maintain capabilities, facilitate for special day of work, keeping record for our customer registration, payment installing online through credit, uh, credit card payment, like for example, um, before system, it had payment with cash, but our uh, software has credit card system. So anybody from anywhere, from any corner of the world can pay their payment. And the last one is export files and printing records. Um, now my partner, Ariful Islam, will explain you the landing page of our software program. Uh, uh, this is our landing page, and uh, here we can see uh, the uh, five minutes and our home option, uh, home about us car listing. There is uh, a list of number of cars and uh, team member. And uh, now we can see the actors here, the two actors, one's customer and one's admin. Okay. Uh, as we have already seen, we have two main actors in our software. One is customer and the one is admin. Now we will see what are the functions of customer and admin. For example, here we can see that two main actors, customer and, and admin, and they are going inside the on online rental portal system. Here we have a database and from the system we can go for car searching, for car booking, for book reporting, add cards and manage content. This is the first level DFD. DFD means data flow diagram. How the data is flowing through the system. For example, this is only for customer. We have other DFD diagrams too. But due to the shortage of time, we have tried to keep the slide simple. For example, here customer is going for registration. Then there will be an email verification. After the verification, if the verification is true or false, he will get his required response. Then he can search for the cars, if the car is found, if the page will be directed to the list of cars, and in this way, the process will be going on. 
This is the architecture of our system. As you can all see, there are the main two actors, customer and admin. Both the body will be uh, will be interacting with the web server to, through HTTP interaction, and web server will be contacting the database server. Here we have, you can see the class diagram. How many classes are here? Here are a few classes: booking, driver, customer, transaction, vehicles, data range, and their required attributes are shown along with their values. <coughs> This is the object diagram. In object diagram, we can say booking is an object, car is an object, user is an object, and their attributes are also shown according to, to the values. This is a use case diagram. In use case diagram, we get to see what an admin can do and what a customer can do. So, uh, as you all can see, an admin can go for branding, an admin can go for vehicles, an admin can go for manage testimonials. Testimonials are the comment that is given by the customers. An admin can directly control it from the C panel, and this is how his job will be going on. Then let's go for manage booking. Manage booking will also go through the same way. When the customer is booking, he can manage by sitting on the C panel, sitting from anywhere from the world, he can manage the pages. Then manage queries, manage subscribers, manage pages, update contact information, registration, etc. Now let's go to the right hand side. In right hand side, we have customers. What customers can do? Customers can go for vehicle choosing, customers can go for booking, customers can go for vehicles showing the show page of our uh, page, then they can go for subscribers, they can go for general settings where they can set some important documents of their profile. And at last, feedback, how they feel about our service. Now my uh, partner will come and say about the sequence diagram. In sequence diagram, uh, we can say user uh, request for login uh, through a web browser and web browser uh, through his uh, database. When the database, uh, uh, when a database add the user information their the database from, give from uh, some they give from their resource and uh, information and a request sent uh, to a uh, web browser and it uh, session detector and log out then display the message is welcome thank you so much Arif. let me go to the next one the next slide is user interface. This, this, uh, the following slides is going to show you what kind of interfaces we have used for our software. Let's see. Let's have a look. This is the customer sign up page where a customer will sign up there by their name, name, address, email address, password, etc. This is our customer login page. After getting the confirmation and the registration is done, they can log in. I think all of us here from CSC's background and we can understand what is login and what is subscribing. Yes, this is a customer profile. From here, a customer can change his general settings from here. He can update his password. He can see his previous bookings, all the bookings he made with us. He can post a testimonial and he can also check his previous testimonial and here is sign out. This is a car searching option. This is our car listing page. Here from here they can find their desired car. For example, we have BMW in our collection, we have Prado, we have Audi. What, whatever they need, whatever they like, they can search through the page and select their desired car. These are some accessories of our car and this is actually for advertisement strategy. We want to show our customers actually how good is our car, how good our accessories are. So this is for the advertisement strategy. These are the list of accessories a car will have. For example, if a customer is choosing a certain car, after clicking on that, he will see the certain functionalities of the car. These are the functionalities that car, that particular car will have. And the green ticks ones means they are available. The next page is customer booking. This page shows how a customer can book a car. After choosing his required car, he can come to this page and book from this date to that date according to his choice. And if he wants to give me any personal message, he wants his car to be like this or any personal one, he can write it just right here and click book now. 
these are the general settings of the customer i think i have explained it in my previous slide just just for the interface i have shown it this is the payment process how actually we are paying as i have already mentioned we are paying through online system we can pay through mastercard visa card whatever card he has our software will accept it and he will pay through it after paying it he will just write the amount write the amount here and the amount will be shown actually automatically here he will just click it and money is will be going away from his card and if he suddenly feels like i don't want to pay he can also cancel it at the same time so in the, this is actually the payment details of a customer this is a email of one customer and this is this is the card number and this is this is the payment details actually which we actually face when we pay online things when the payment will be done this interface will be shown on the screen this interface says he has already paid and this green signal this green signal that is paid signal is already showing that the customer already paid and admin already knows about it so the payment confirmation is done now my partner ariful will come and explain you the admin side page uh, this is our uh, admin panel page and uh, here uh, only author, other person are can sign up here and this is our dashboard and we can see here the uh, so many uh, so many departments in our uh, dashboard the best uh, like uh, user the best system, um, list of best items, items, yes. total booking list of brand subscriber and testimony and uh, here in the, uh, here uh, admin can change their password uh, and he can uh, update their new password and uh, here we can see uh, admin can create a new brand uh, for her vehicle okay thank you arif for your information now i'm going to uh, show you this slide actually in this slide we can see how our admin can post a vehicle as you can see Ali. he is managing everything he is managing vehicles he is managing booking so this is one of the page Ali. here he can write the vehicle's price what price he wants the customer he wants to pay for that uh, particular car then he can also upload the images of the vehicle and here are the accessories if he ticks here it will also be shown in the customer page that my car has anti lock braking system my car has braking assist and everything this is the manage booking page i i think you can see we have already three customers here one is mr marful islam and the one is mr riya and they have booked car with us from this date to this date and they have also given us a personal message and here as you can see the status shows it's confirmed that means our admin has confirmed it and this is the posting date and this panel actually is the action panel here if i want as i am my admin i can confirm it or i can either cancel it it depends upon me it depends upon the availability of the car if i think my car is busy definitely i have to cancel the booking this is the this is the list of the registered users these are our our uh, our valuable clients and their email and their contact information their date of birth and all the details through this record we can also wish them in their special special days and in our database also we can keep their record as our valuable customers this is our manage contact us query page okay this is a query page if somebody makes any query to us through this page we can also manage their queries if we feel the query is important we can keep it otherwise we can also cancel it see this is the action part here read means i have read it and pending means i haven't read it yet so this action page of helping me to know on which query i have answered and on which query or query i haven't answered this is the manage pages through this page i can i can manage the other pages in my website this is the update contact uh, information page here i can i can update my client's information suppose if my client has changed his previous address to a new address through this page i can also update their contact information 
This is a managed subscriber page. These are normal subscribers because someday these subscribers will be my client. So I also kept a special page for my subscribers because they could be my future clients. And this is the conclusion. This system can be a solution to the car rental portal, the complexity of managerial, maintaining and documenting related works. Uh, thank you so much. I think that was all from our presentation. Now, if you have any question, you are free to ask. And we are also going to show you how the software is working practically. Here you can see this is an admin PC and this is a user PC. Now, any of my friend or my, or my partner will be a user and I will be an admin. And in live, I will show you how my software is working under internet technology. Please start. I will want one or two minutes from all of you to set up my software. There is a one exciting thing in my software that is after the confirmation there is a there is a message that, that comes in our mobile. So we are using our processor's mobile number for the confirmation. Confirmation will directly go to his mobile. So now register is one of our valuable client and customer and he is registering one of the car vehicles. <laughs> sir. His memory will be going down <laughs> because it has been recording for such a long time. Confirm from here. 